So welcome everybody, my name is Paul and a lot of people have known my videos. I have a large YouTube section and a number of websites under the broad company called Living Being Media. And I've done a lot of research about a lot of different subjects, in particular meditation and religion, mythology and so on, esotericism. But I've also had a lot of uh, fascination with electronics and the sciences and so on. And over the years I've come to a lot of important realizations for me and answers to a lot of questions. And I thought what I'd do is I'd make a little series about for those people who are interested and teach them what I know. I'm just one voice out here among many. But in particular, I become very fascinated with the inner states of consciousness and meditation and what you might call psychology because it's a very, very fascinating subject. Uh, human beings are incredibly special and uh, a lot of the sages from the past have told us this and it's only through a part of self-discovery a process that we go through that we understand our true nature and I was given this story many years ago when it was told to me and it's actually from my teacher whose name is Prem Rawat I practiced uh, the techniques that he has shown me over the years for over 35 years and he said that supposing you're at a party and you know, you're, let's say you're in a dream and you're at a party and you don't know who the people are and you don't know who you are and you don't know why the party's going on. But then, let's say for example if you are at a party and you do know what the party's about and you do know who you are and you do know who, you're, who the guests are, you're going to really have an incredible time at that party. And all of us were born, we just get this life, and next thing you know, you know, you're a little baby or something, and I have some granddaughters, many people do, and you watch them grow up, and you see, wow, you know, they just came into this world, and poof, you know, there all this thing's happening, and there's no rewind button, and there's no fast forward button, and you got to figure it out somehow. And all the sages say, well, the human life is the crown of creation, it's the most incredible thing you can have. If you don't feel wealthy, just go look in the mirror and realize that you have the kind of birth that uh, angels and celestial beings yearn for according to many sages in India and Tibet. So we have this life here and in many cases we are told well you're only going to live one life and maybe that's true but even if it's not true hey this is the one we have and you know you might as well just really really get it because I mean let's say you you know somebody walks up to you one day and gives you the keys to a Ferrari and say, hey, you know, you know, no thank you, I don't know what to do with this and I'm just not going to bother or whatever. Or you can take it out for a spin. And our human life is incredibly precious. This is what the sages say and the question is why. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I, once again, I am a student of a man named Prem Wawat. I have been for many, many years. He teaches a very simple thing techniques to go inside and experience peace and ultimately that's what we really want all of us no matter how long we live and no matter how many mysteries we can solve and all the answers to so many questions ultimately we want the answer to how can we be at peace and just enjoy our existence and know what the celebration is all about know the value of the life know the value of the seconds and the moments and the breaths and so on that come to us and in all my life I've studied a lot of different scriptures and so on and ultimately if you look at the sages, you know the tops, they go up the whole way top, well teach me something, teach me something, where are the top of the teachers and ultimately you have these great sages who said look, even in the Bhagavad Gita, I believe it was Krishna, he said look, okay, look, if you can't do any of these things, I'll give you all these different ways to calm yourself, to be at peace, to understand this life and so on, and all these other things, that there's techniques and this and that. However, the ultimate thing, if you can't do anything, just let go. And it reminds me of a story I heard that was supposedly attributed to Buddha. It may not be, but uh, the quote was, he was asked, well, how long will it take and what do I need to do to achieve this, this peace, this enlightenment, this answer this solution to the human life and he said well just do absolutely nothing for 15 seconds and so an answer like that comes okay well you know forget that he's crazy or whatever but 
It's not a question of doing something, and it's not a question of time. It's a question of not doing something, and it's, it's not a question of time, it's a question of understanding. And that reminds me of a situation where I was recently in Thailand, and we go up and down the river on these boats, across the river for ferry and so on, and they're really crowded, and people are making their way down off these boats. And some of them, the smaller ones, only stop for a few seconds at their stop, and you just got to make a decision, I'm going to get on that, or you're going to get off it, or whatever. And here in our life, you know, we're told, okay, this is a very, very important life, and all these things are really important, and you better get it. And it's not really a matter of the time. It's a matter of understanding, I am going to get on that boat, or in the case, maybe get off the boat. But to make that transition, it's a matter of understanding and the decision. So that, let's say, for example, to cross over into a different understanding of this life is a matter of decision, and it comes, you know, people have gone through their whole life and they just don't get it. They don't understand, and so part of what I'm trying to do is be one voice out there, many, many people, look, if you want answers to questions, there are answers. But you have to be a student, you have to be looking, you have to try to understand, to stand under, to be receptive. And there's a great, great thing, a great symbol that's used in so many countries in India, it's like this. You just do this. There's something in our understanding. Well, I want to know something very sincerely. It's not a question of I, I'm demanding, I need to know something for my important safety, my day, what, I, I need to know something. And by having this attitude in one's life, that the great sages say do this, the great sages say this. You might think, well, the masters, oh, they know this and they know that, and they're going to tell you, I'll do this and do this and this and that. Do this. Understand something. So that sometimes when you come across in your life, first of all, if you have this attitude in life where you're open and trying to understand in a deep sense, wherever you look, it's going to be incredible. Everywhere you see, you're going to be beauty. You will enjoy all the joys of other human beings. You, when you see other people having joy, you will, you will experience joy. That attitude of gratitude to understand this life, this is what the great sages say. Now start with this, and a lot of answers start happening. Because if we want to understand something that's infinite, It's really quite simple. It's a process, trying to understand the ocean. Well, at first you go in, you touch the ocean. You feel it. Maybe you taste it. There's something that you can take in from the cosmos on a moment-to-moment -moment basis that is understanding and joy in living life force. But the first step is to go And use that heart, that ass. Now, I've been practicing meditation for a really long time, and ups and downs, there's many different types of meditation. I actually really only use one that my teacher taught me. But I'm trying to explain that, look, if you listen to the sages, a teacher might come, you might hear an opportunity, for example, I was able to hear my teacher over many t years ago, and I said, I made that decision, I'm going to listen, I'm going to pay attention, and have an open heart to try to feel what he's talking about. So in the next segment I'm going to go into a little more practical things. There's a lot of things that I've come to understand, and I thought I'd share with people. Um, I'm just one of many voices, and I have understood some things that I'd love to share that might make a difference in people's lives. So we'll go on to the next segment.